Hello and welcome to Newsfeed. I am Sumaya Abubakari, taking you through the stories trending online that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today. Alleged homicide in a Chinese national who killed his lover tells Kaino Court that he spent 60 million naira on her because he loved her. Actress Inkiru Sovanos ties the knot. Woman cries out after her money vanished from her account. And Lisa Marie Presley, only child of Elvis Presley and former wife of Michael Jackson, dead. Now, top of what's trending today, we have the Chinese man, Frank Greg Kwangrong, who, arrest, who was arrested in 2022 for allegedly stabbing his Nigerian lover, Omoku Sumsani, to death in Kano State on Wednesday, January 11. He told the Kano court that he spent over 60 million naira on her before killing her. Now, Frank, who lives at Railway Quarters Kano, is standing trial for allegedly stabbing his late, uh, the late Miss Sani to death in September last year uh, is, as an offense contrary to section 221b of the penal code now while being led in evidence by his counsel Mohammed dan azumi on wednesday january 11 greg kwangron said he is a muslim an international trader and a marketer at bby textile quarry market canoe he told the courts that in june 2020 his deceased lover got his phone number from her friend and called to tell him that she loves him and that by the grace of god she will marry him he said that they started a relationship in July 2020, and she started asking for money. He gave her all she wanted because he loved her. He transferred over 60 million naira to her bank account with a breakdown of um, 18 million naira for her to start a business, 4 million naira house, and 6 million naira uni for university education, among others. He mentioned to the court that in February 2022, he was shocked to find out that she got married to another person. Now, the prosecutor, who is also the Attorney General of Kano State, Musa Abdullah Lawan, alleged that the defendant on September 16, 2022, stabbed the deceased with a knife in her house at Jambulu Quarters, Kano. The defendant gave this information on 12 January 2023 in front of Justice San and Sanusi Adu Maaji for the continuation of the defense. Now, a netizen said there is no justification for killing the girl, but some people die early due to greed. A story of a, man, of a scorned man. Another said, was that why you killed her? Because you spent money on her. Actually, if you all are spending money on anyone, know that it is out of your own free will. And it doesn't mean that they will marry you. If you can't deal with it, please do not spend. Someone said, let's tell ourselves the truth for once. To kill her was extreme though, but from the right up, the girl was obviously scamming him as Mugu, as Maga, uh, who she wasn't a saint, just that she paid with her life and the man should get sentenced for the killing of a person. And another added, unfortunately, she is not here to defend herself, which is true. Next on What's Trending, we have actress Inkiruka Silvanos, who ties the knot. Now, Nollywood veteran actress Inkiru Silvanos has tied the knot with her lover in a lavish ceremony in her hometown. Now, netizen are happy for her. One said, congratulations to them. Una too fine. Your kids would be fine too. Another said, finally got to know your real name, bleh bleh. Someone else said, if you like, if you, if you like say the guy is younger. Now you sabi. Someone replied with, and how did you know he is younger? You people like to look for useless things. Congratulations, Enkirika. Next on What's Trending, we have a woman who cries out after her money vanished from her account. She called for help from organizations that can assist her to get her money back from Zenith Bank. Take a look at her video. So I bank with Zenith Bank and yesterday night at about 8.43 p.m., I got debit alerts. The first one called to an access bank. It was 3.7 million transferred from my account to the access account. And then I was confused because I don't understand. Like, I didn't do this transfer, this transaction. I did not authorize it or anything. And then I got a second one immediately. Then I got another debit alert of 222,900 to the same um, to the same access account and then a minute it was even up to a minute i got another debit alert 102,000 naira to a uba account an artisan said zenit bank and uba with constant fraudulent accusations zenit bank commented kindly send us a direct message to enable us assist 
Now, someone replied them with, you guys are not serious. What does it take to fully deploy two-factor authentication? Why must I suffer for banking with you? If not for the power of social media, you will not respond to this poor girl. Return her money. Next on what's trending, we have actress Omoni Oboli, who has advised women who pride themselves to be mean girls to seek help as such an attitude is weird and not needed in 2023. In a post she shared on her Instagram page, the mom of three stressed that in this day and age, women do not need other women who sneak this bully or hate or another woman, but rather uplift, encourage and applaud each other. And if you really don't like someone or something, then simply don't interact with them. If you have nothing nice to say, say nothing. Don't be messy and mis or miserable. Women need, to, you know, to support each other and they need to think of each other as big deal. No competition, no backhanded comments, no jealousy, no hate. Just I love you, I support you, and there is no one on earth like you kind of energy. Now, a netizen said, this is applicable to everyone. Acts of kindness can make the world a happier place for everyone. Another said, she's talking to a lot of people from even this comment section. But watch, same set of people agree with her like she's not talking to them. A guy said, women should not wait for we men, in his quote, to support women and start hating. Women should be genuinely happy to see other women doing good without a negative or uneasy feeling. Celebrate people who are making it around you and soon it will be your turn. And someone else added, so true, leave that bad energy for 2022. This 2023 is positivity only, period. Well, that's really true. Now let's take a short break and when we come back, you will see what a lady did to her sister for issuing an unsolicited advice. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's News Feed. A Nigerian lady has called out her younger sister who, who asked her to leave her house because she advised her. Now, the aggrieved lady who shared a video of her sister throwing out her belongings pleaded with her to stop as they are sisters. Take a look. My own sister telling me to leave her house because of I gave her advice. My own sister telling me to, <laughs> telling me to leave her house. An artisan said, how you go, they advise your helper. <laughs> Another said, I think I have heard everything I want to hear in this country. I hereby donate my ears to charity. A lady said, this house looks like a family house, though. Another said, sorry, sister, but you don't advise people if you don't have money. A guy added, while many are seeing this as crews, can we address the issue she raised? It is sad if a young girl is seen bringing different men as, uh, at home as achievement. Next on what's trending, we have Unizik lecturer who delivered of a septuplet says hospital is threatening to stop medication on the babies unless the bill of 19 million is paid. A lecturer at the Namdi Azikwe University, Akwa Anambra State, Ms. Ngozi Uzodike, has delivered um, a set of septuplets, which are seven babies. Now, Ngozi, who worked at the Department of Business Administration, delivered the babies, two boys and five girls, at Obi Jackson um, Women and Children Hospital, Okija, Ihiala, local government area of Anambra State, on Sunday, January 8th. However, one of the girls died and the hospital is threatening to stop medication on the remaining six babies if they fail to pay the 19 million Nara bill. Now, the new mother lamented that she had not been paid salary since she started working at the institution in December 2020. Speaking to journalists on Wednesday, her husband, Mr. Celestine Uzodike, said they could only pay 1.6 million naira of the 9 million naira bill um, by the hospital. He lamented that his wife had earned a, uh, no cobo at all as salary, even after she had been promoted from assistant lecturer to lecturer two. Uzodike, however, appealed to the federal government to pay the two years' salary arrears owned by um, owned to the mother and also come to their aid. Now, the babies came out prematurely at 26 um, week gestation period, and the hospital said they will need to be placed under intensive care, and each of them will cost three million naira, 
one of them has died, leaving six babies. A netizen said, this is most probably the work of IVF. May God provide for your husband beyond the 19 million. You both have a huge responsibility ahead of you. Another said, septuplets means seven children. Congratulations to them. If you're reading this, I wish you the same and more. Amen. And then someone replied with, I wish you the same too. <laughs> a guy said, inside this economy, Jaguar mood activated for the husband. Another person commented, congratulations, and I pray the remaining six live healthy and may God, um, may good people bring you help financially and physically. Next on what's trending, we have two bankers, Agbo John Agama and Edo Steve, who have been convicted and sentenced to three years imprisonment for conspiracy, aiding and abetting fraud uh, to the tune of 9.4 million naira. Now, they were convicted by Justice Mojishola Olajuwon on Federal High Court um, sitting in Abuja on Wednesday, January 11, 2023. The convicts were prosecuted on one count charge by the Makodi Zonal Command of Economic and Financial Crime Commission. According to the charge, the convicts, while being employees of Assets Bank, PLC, Makodi Branch, Benue State, and others now at large, now a lady said that I said it, they are the ones removing people's money. Another said, it's always an inside job. Someone said, this explains the other money missing. Yahoo boys in suit. <laughs> Next on what's trending, we have Lisa Marie Presley, the only child of Elvis Presley and the former wife of Michael Jackson, dead at 54 after cardiac arrest. She died at a Los Angeles hospital after suffering a cardiac arrest on Thursday, January 12th. The daughter of Elvis Presley collapsed in her Kyla Bassa's Los Angeles home after her heart attack, after her heart stopped suddenly on Thursday morning. According to an early report by TMZ, Presley initially regained a pulse after first respondents performed CPR and her ex-husband Danny Kier um, reportedly administered CPR until medical professionals took over. She suffered a full arrest and was um, given um, epinephrine. Um, the cardiac arrest occurred after Presley attended Tuesday's night Golden Globe Awards, where Austin Butler won Best Actor in a drama film for his portrayal of her father in Baz Luhrmann Elvis. Now, Butler dedicated part of his acceptance speech to Presley and her mother who was also in attendance at the award ceremony at the Beverly Hills uh, Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills. Lisa Marie Presley was also a singer, songwriter, who released three albums between 2003 and 2012. She married pop singer Michael Jackson in 1994 and divorced him two years later. Now, netizens had different reactions to the news. One said, too much injections and beauty products. And someone replied with, actually, her death had nothing to do with applying too much beauty product. Another commented that she was always abusing cocaine and other drugs, and these things can cause sudden heart attacks. A lady said, this is so sad. She was in Michael Jackson's You Are Not Alone video. They had so good chemistry. And another added, I pray Priscilla has the heart to take this. The loss of a daughter can be devastating. Rest in power, Lisa Marie Presley. Now on to lastly, a video of a monkey who seems to want to copy what an agile man did. Take a look. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> now that backflip was impressive. And that is all on News Feed today. Follow us and subscribe to all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye.